Hi guys, how are you guys doing? So I feel like I haven't done a get ready with me video for a while and today I actually am going to an event, a beauty event, and I was doing my makeup and I didn't really have a lot of time to get ready. I had to go to the gym, I had to get my nails done, and I had to do a lot of things today. So I'm like rushing, it's kind of an early event. So I wanted to do a get ready with me like fast glam. Obviously you guys can see I don't even have my extensions in and this is my natural hair length, which you guys will like never really see because I don't really like rocking this um, natural hair length. But um, sometimes, you know, we gotta rock that natural hair and blow dry it really fast. And my hair, I just blow dry it really fast with my Bio Ionic blow dryer that I just got and it's so, so, so amazing. I love it so much. So if you guys wanna get ready with me, let's get started on this video. Here, I just got out of the shower and put on one of my Glam Life robes designed by me. I'm going to blow dry my hair with this amazing Bio Ionic 10X blow dryer that you can get at Sephora. My hair dries so fast, literally under 10 minutes with this thing, and I love that the dryer itself doesn't overheat or make me hot. There are natural volcanic rock minerals infused into the Bio Ionic tools, and I love that. My hair doesn't get too coarse and dried out. This dryer dries my hair smooth and traps the moisture into my hair. What I like to use is a round brush to blow dry my bangs. I section my bangs and blow dry it back to create a smooth swoop. Using the round brush, I kind of brush out the hair, but this blow dryer dries hair pretty smooth. I also use a wet comb to separate and detangle the hair. I like to pin my bangs back too, away from my face. Since my hair is blonde, my bronzer gets in my hair and it changes color. Now let's start with the makeup. I moisturize my face with my favorite Embryolisse moisturizer. Then I prime my eyes with Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion. Then using the Urban Decay Vice Limited Reloaded Palette and the Morphe Blender Brush from the Bling Set, Take the color Anonymous and put the shadow all over for your base. Then take Midnight Cowboy and put that on your lids halfway up the lid. Then using the Morphe M209 brush, take the color Moonflower and put it halfway on the lid to kind of smoke it out. Then take the crease brush from the Morphe Bling Set and put smog in your crease in a V motion going inwards from the outer corner of your lid. Using the blending brush from before, blend the colors out. Taking Tatcha's Deep Hydration Eye Firming Eye Serum, put it under your eyes. I love this serum. Then take the LA Girl Pro HD Orange Corrector and put that where you may have little spots you want to correct, such as dark circles or puffiness. Take a damp beauty blender and blend it out. Take the Morphe Concealer in Macchiato and conceal under your eyes. Then use Makeup Forever's HD Concealer in Y33 and also use Sigma's F75 Concealer Brush to layer this concealer over the other concealer. I like to use pink tone concealers and yellow tone concealers and mix them together. Using the Morphe M167 Concealer Brush, put the concealer on the highlight spots, nose bridge, under the nose, chin, and forehead. Always use a damp beauty blender to blend. Now use your favorite foundation. Mine is Makeup Forever's Ultra HD in 128 and put that all over your face on the parts you didn't conceal. Blend with the Beauty Blender again. Now for the contour. I use the LA Girl Cosmetics Pro HD Concealer in beautiful bronze. Literally draw on the cheeks, contour your nose, around your forehead, under your jaw, and blend away. Now for the baking. Here I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set the concealer and place it with a wedge sponge. I let the skin bake onto the foundation. Next, I line my eyes with L'Oreal Paris' infallible Silk Is Me eyeliner in black in my waterline above and under my eyes. It goes on really dark and goes on super smooth, which I like a lot. Next, I put on my favorite lash by Lily Lashes in Mykonos to complete the eye look. Now onto the brows. I got these cute new brow items from the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows Collection. I have the sculpting gel and the brow gel in the color Cara. Shape your brows with the clear sculpting brow gel and fill in the color with the Cara color and draw the arch with a Sigma winged liner brush in E06. Brush off the baking powder with the Morphe M509 brush. Then blend out the whole face with the Morphe Bling Set powder brush. 
Using Tarte's Expose Highlight and Morphe's M601 Fan Brush, brush on some highlight on the high points of your cheekbones. Take Tarte's Expose Blush and use the Bling Sets Contour Brush and put on blush on the apples of your cheek. Use the same brush and use Tarte's color Seduce to put more color on the cheeks. To add even more glow, use Ofra Cosmetics Beverly Hills Highlighter and add more highlight to your cheeks. Next, let's bronze the face. My favorite matte bronzer is Benefit's Hoola Bronzer and I put that all over with the Bling Set Powder Brush. Now onto the lips. I really just want a natural nudie lip. So I'm going to use Lorax Pink Taupe in the matte lip color and I also fill it in with Ofra's Bel Air Liquid Lipstick. The liquid eyeliner that never lets me down is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in Black. I swear by it. Now we are all done with my quick full beat glam. So I hope you guys liked my little tutorial. If you guys want to see more Get Ready With Me videos like this, let me know in the comments below and make sure to thumbs up the video if you guys like this. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. I love you guys so much. Bye. In my last dream, you were still mine. Everything was fine. Wanna press rewind. In my last dream, it was so authentic. Didn't wanna end it. Now I can't forget it. In my last